Hi guys, Farmer Ruth here from Cannonall Farm. Now, you know how I work with the Shires. We love the Shires. We've had fantastic times with them over the last 18 months. Um, behind the scenes, I've been working on something which I'm really, really excited about. Um, so I'm gonna go down to the Shires and I'll tell you more about it. Right then guys, I'm here in the field with Ruby, uh, one of our lovely shires and obviously in the background you can see the lovely Lottie. So guys, I received a phone call today from the Shire Horse Society who we work really closely with and I'm absolutely over the moon to announce that we've been made one of their approved visitor centres which is absolutely amazing. It's something I've been working on in the background for the last year. Um, so yeah, to get that com confirmation today, <laughs> you're trying to steal the limelight? It's been amazing news. So we'll be part of only eight centres in the UK that are approved by the Shire Horse Society. So part of that responsibility is to make sure that we educate the general public about the Shire Horse breed, about how, how they're challenging, being challenged now and how what they did in the past and what we can do with them to help in the future. So this is brilliant news, isn't it, sweetheart? So being an approved visitor centre for us uh, means that we can actually work cl more closely with the Shire Horse Society and the other centres as well. So there's seven other centres as well as us now and we can all join in and uh, get, get together and hopefully make sure that this iconic breed doesn't die out. The Shire Horse breed is so important to us here at, Shire, at Cannon Hall Farm. We've had some success this last few years. We've, we've got Blossom, we've got Hadwill, and we've got Sapphire as well. <laughs> Ruby's actually <laughs> investigating the camera. Bless you, good girl. Okay, so it's, it's really, really, really important to the breed and, uh, and to us really that we carry on with this effort. And this young lady here is also in, in full. So uh, yeah, all fingers crossed we can get going and we can bring Sapphire on and Blossom. I'm really, really absolutely over the moon as you can probably see that we've actually got this approval. Uh, Victoria from the Shire Hall Society rung me earlier. We had the meeting yesterday and she did tell me that you were unanimously approved uh, to be a centre. And I can't be more happy and I, I, I'll be honest, I went and told Rob and Dave, Dave straight away because uh, it's such, such, such a, an honour to be that, that this centre. So the shy horses are such an iconic breed and they have become one of our most valued visitor attractions. People always ask about the horses. So it's fantastic and we're at a position now that we can actually put out that education, bring the plight of the shy horses to your screens through social media, through the TV, whichever. We can keep doing that and we're going to keep doing that. Uh, until we can make sure that this, this iconic breed is safe. Right then guys, so you've heard his exciting news. I hope you're as excited as, as we are. Guys, you can, can actually help a little bit more. If you go through onto our website, look at the adoption packs for the Shire Horses and then you can adopt one of these iconic breeds. Lottie's coming to see me now, bless her. Okay guys, so give us a like, give us a share and we'll see you all soon. See you later. <laughs> I got your dickle spot. I got your dickle spot. <laughs>